What is going on everybody? Good old Commander Sparks here with another Red Dead Redemption video for you folks. Doing something a little different today. Gonna be doing kind of a topic video for you guys. A little live action too, so let's get right into it, shall we? Now the topic of this video, as you can see from the title, is Will Red Dead Redemption 2 change the way that open world games are made? Uh, I think that's a pretty damn bold statement. Let's start off with that. Um, but I think there is a lot of things that make me think that this game is going to be something special and that this is actually a possibility. They have had a slew of information come out that has suggested that this game and the amount of detail, the small details and just the, the big details as well, are so like they're just so crazy good like it's just gonna make it to where you are so immersed in this game and I feel like this is gonna set a precedent from here on out for the amount of detail that you need to put into an open world game it's really gonna dial these companies back and and take a look at this game and be like holy shit like you know people people are gonna fall in love with this game I, I feel like you know, I, I have my video that I did before about, you know, what they need to do right with Red Dead Online, and that's a whole nother ball game right there in terms of, you know, the shark cards and all that. So I won't really get into that with this video, but what are some things that I'm thinking of that might make this game revolutionary? Um, I really feel like it's it's the details, the amount of time that it looks like they are spending and the things in the videos that I've watched from people who have actually gotten to play the game early everyone has said that the game is just fucking incredible like it just looks incredible it plays incredible the amount of things that you could do the attention to details in terms of just the certain activities that you could do within the game it it literally is shaping up to be one of my most anticipated games that i think i've ever played um i am so excited for october 26 to be able to get my hands on this game and finally play it and to see what these people are actually talking about um just just everything that Rockstar has done in terms of GTA 5 even I felt was so like whoa like I have never even even in the prologue I have never played anything like that and playing that game I was like blown away by the scale and the immersion that they brought to that game and I feel like they've learned so much from that that it can only go up from here in terms of how good Red Dead Redemption 2 could possibly be. Just to kind of give you some examples of some of the details that I'm talking about to kind of expand upon that a little bit. They're talking about how, and this is just going to be a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. They, Like I said, they've come out with a ton of information and I'll be linking some stuff down in the description below or even to some of the videos that I've made about this topic. Um, but just the amount of detail in terms of hunting, you have to choose the right gauge of your rifle to be able to have a clean kill and not spoil the meat. Uh, it's better to use a bow in some circumstances to have a cleaner kill and not ruin the meat uh, the horses <laughs> the horses testicles will actually shrink in the cold and they will they will actually you know as you know physics of testicles actually would in real life for humans they'll actually shrink in the cold and they'll you know they'll be f floppier in the you know the warmer climates you know what I'm saying Things like going into a store and when you look, you go into the store and you want to buy a gun or you want to look at something, right? You can tangibly go up to the object and Arthur will physically take his hands and scroll through the book. You can see the dirt and all the things on his, on his hands to just give you the immersion that you're actually a cowboy. You're out in the West. You're, you're fighting for survival. You have to do these things physically yourself to make sure that you are going to be okay in this environment that you have to look through a catalog and look at the descriptions and look at the the pricing of things and flip the pages with your hands like all that shit the little shit to me honestly is the shit that makes games so worthwhile and and make them last for a long period of time that's the type of things that i remember about games Things that elicit a certain response or, or elicit a certain emotion in you that stand the test of time. GTA 5 has done that with its heist in the grand scheme and the storytelling that they've had with those games. Rockstar is just so well known for this with their with their online and even their stories that they produce with their single players. They're just so well known for their open world games. And I really, really honestly feel like this is going to be a step in the right direction. It's going to be a huge step in terms of how companies make 
their open world games. There's probably so much more that I could talk about on this subject, and I feel like Rockstar has just done such a good job promoting this game and just coming off of this game and just showcasing it to the people and being like, look, this is the game. This is what we're bringing to the table. And the response that I've seen has just been astronomically good. Uh, it just makes me think that this is really I th that's the thing I, I literally in in gaming's games of the past i have not tried to get too hyped up because i feel like previously i've gotten very disappointed with games that have been hyped uh this is one that i feel like there's legitimate hype for it there is legit just the information that they're coming out with there's no way that they can just say all this and not have it be in the game there's absolutely no way that can happen um i really don't think that they would mislead people with with this type of stuff and we all know i feel like at least me personally i feel like rockstar has a good credibility with delivering on a product especially when it comes to their single player experiences and just the fact that their games are so well done um online could be a different story though for gta 5 uh that may be a different video though um I just wanted to throw this video out there kind of to just see what the reaction might be. Uh, this is a different type of video than I'm used to making. I just kind of wanted to make it a little more personable and have me in it. Um, and I really want to hear what you guys have to say about this topic. Do you do you personally think that this game could literally change the way that open world games are made? Do you personally think it could? Uh, you may disagree with me on that statement. Um, I just think that this game is going to be something fucking special, man. And I'm really, really, really looking forward to getting it in my hands on October 26th. So if you guys like this type of video, don't be afraid to let me know in the comment section below. If you like the video, go ahead and like the video. I appreciate it. It helps me out a ton. And this is good old Commander Sparks signing out. Have a good one, everybody. And keep it locked here for some more Red Dead 2 content and all kinds of other shit. I'll see y'all later.